That's it, the end of the run. No climactic ending, just a realistic one. Not all runs are good runs. I'll go again tomorrow. This route is a huge mistake. It's massively overgrown. I haven't run this route for about six or seven months. And the last time I did it, it was overgrown, but not like this. I'm walking through brambles and nettles. This is the route that when I first attempted it, I couldn't run, but I'm through now. That's it. on a run today um, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go I'm just over two miles in at the moment it's a really hot day today I got a bit sunburned yesterday I'm on the trail that links my village where I live to the closest town so this trail is about three and a half miles long there's a nature reserve up here I'm going to run through the nature reserve and back round. This loop is almost exactly 10 miles. So we'll see how I feel in a minute. So there's a few things I wanted to talk about. First is that my resting running pace, so the pace at which it feels like a slow jog, has now reached about 12.20, 12.15 a mile average pace, which is fantastic. Over the last four weeks, that's dropped significantly. The other thing I'm really happy with is when I do one of my speed runs, so four miles, when I do that four mile loop, I can now do it in under 12 minutes. So the whole thing I can do in 11, about 11.40, 11.50. I did do a mile and a half at 11 minutes. But that was going some. That felt like me sprinting. I know 11 minutes isn't fast, but for me to be able to run any distance at approximately 11 minutes is phenomenal. Absolutely, I couldn't sustain it for longer than 1.4 miles. I can sustain now 12 minutes 20. Average pace over long distance. So we're at the nature reserve now. Look how pretty this is. How lucky am I to have something so more like on my doorstep. This is only three miles from my front door. The other thing that I'm trying new today is something called Tailwind. Tailwind is an endurance food supplement powder energy drink thing that everyone raves about. I've just stopped just for one minute to talk on camera. The Tailwind is a food replacement energy drink. I tried it once before and it didn't really work out. Um, so this is the second time that I'm going to be using what well, I have used Tailwind. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a huge fan. It's made me feel, it did it last time. It made me feel really nauseous. So I don't eat sweets, chocolate, 
um, anything like that really and it does feel like I've just eaten a bag of Haribo so I need to get used to it because I also can't eat and then go for a run obviously not not immediately but a lot of people consume food and then an hour or two later go for a run and it really makes me feel uncomfortable as well so I need something to give me the energy in the day for these runs which is why I end up running either early in the morning before I eat breakfast or mid-afternoon after I've had breakfast and it's been plenty of time to digest it. I'm going to try a few other options because as I say I'm not a huge fan but we'll see how it goes. I've only used it twice. the wind see if that makes a difference I'm at 17 miles now um, this is official I've just stopped for a second because I've just fallen over um, I'm so exhausted I can't I'm not picking my feet up properly I went straight over and I've hurt my side I landed on my arm I'm, it hurts to breathe this is why I wear a hat the state of my hair yeah furthest I've run so far 17 I'm about probably about two miles from home try and jog home yeah oh, here we go. That's deja vu I'm in the same clothes same hat same multi top I just want to point out I've got multiple of these tops okay so it's been a while now since my last big run where at the end of it after 17 miles I fell landed on my ribs and bruised my ribs on this side that was about 10 days ago so the pain now means that i'm able to use this arm again i can start lifting things with it i can put it above my head i've got a few days of four or five mile runs under my belt so i'm feeling good and today is going to be a big run so i've stashed my bottles i've got three bottles now i've stashed let's see how we get on okay that's two miles at 12.04 average pace I need to aim for about 12.30 I don't have enough time between now and the marathon I've only got like 50 days if we start increasing the pace now we'll just be suicide that's five and a half miles I'm now averaging 12.20 a mile average pace so that's a good pace I'm just coming up to my first water point where I've stashed some water earlier on in the day just ticked over six miles at a 12.20 pace good thing is my chest feels good my ribs aren't hurting I'm just at my water stop now about straight five miles along the Thames and then left home. That's 13 miles. Okay, that's 14 miles. I think Trey can come to meet me to run the last few miles. That's it, that's the end of the run, 16 miles at a steady 12.44 pace. I'm very happy with that pace because I maintained it 
That's the fastest I've ever run 10 miles as well. That's the fastest I've ever run 16 miles. Are you happy with that for me? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got anything you want to say? Um, like what? Quick, say something inspirational. There's a pub full of people. Um, I can't think of anything. Quick, there's people coming. Oh, it's super awesome, super fast. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>